at 6.2 pounds or 2.8 kilos. No wonder they called this thing the Super Light. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load and this is the Air Arms S410F Super Light Carbine. And it is super, super light. Right then, for those of you who don't know, let's just look at the older S410. Just referring to Air Arms' is, uh, fairly old brochure that I've got here. Um, I don't think I've got an up-to-date one. Um, but that is the iconic uh, S410. And basically, this is a new and improved version and a lot lighter version. So let me give you the full specs on this. So, right then, so this thing will cost you around six and a half hundred pounds in the UK. Precharged pneumatic, this one is in 2.2, they are available in 2.2 and 177. Shots per fill, 177 you're going to get around 60 plus shots, 2.2, 80 plus shots. Overall length is 925mm or 36.5 inches, barrel is 395mm or 15.5 inches. And the weight, like I said, 2.8 kilos or 6.2 pounds. That is pretty light. Pretty damn light. So, let's take it from the top then in this rack and load review. So, as ever, we'll go from the rear. Go from the butt end. This is the recoil pad, butt stock, butt pad, whatever you want to call it. Nice soft rubber and... I do like this type because you can store pellets in there. If you haven't got a spare magazine, of course, then no doubt with a gun like this, you need to get a spare magazine, especially if you're taking this thing out in the field. Now, that's the recoil pad, butt pad. Fully ambidextrous stock. This, by the way, is in Hunter Green, which is gorgeous. They are available in... Uh, several other colours. Um, I think they're just your, your usual sort of um, beach stock. Not sure if they do a walnut one but this is my favourite. Really cool. But like I was saying ambidextrous stock which as ever from me gets a big big thumbs up because I'm a lefty and it's a Manelli stock as well by the way so it's a very very well made, very well finished stock. Now these sort of recesses here, um, I kind of like that, I like the way they've done that. I think the main reason they've done that is to just shave weight off this thing, you know. But it feels really comfortable anyway, really, really nice stock. The pistol grip is just really comfortable. Uh, you've got checker in there, let's just get it in the light a bit better. Got checker in with Air Arms' logo. Get you a better shot there. And then you've got like a rosewood cap on the end of the pistol grip. Lovely, lovely stock. Moving along the fore end, which is nice and quite wide actually, but really nice, real sharp checker in on here. Uh, it does offer a lot of grip. You know, even with that sort of slender pattern that it's done in, it does uh, does function to give you plenty of grip. But it's a really nice stock. Nice and chunky at the end as well, which I like. I don't like seeing sort of vulnerable bits on a wooden stock. You do get that in quite a lot of high-end guns, but this seems quite chunky all the way round. Now I am a big fan of Air Arms' magazines. You really can't go wrong with these things. They are simple and easy to use. You don't have to re read an instruction manual to figure out how to use them and how to put the pellets in. It is as easy as just dropping the pellet in and cranking it around until you're full. You've got all 10 shots in. And they're fairly robust as well. Uh, I did drop this by accident on the concrete and it didn't sort of obliterate into pieces or anything which is always good um, 
but you are supplied with just one magazine so it would be well worth getting an extra one you know especially if you're going to do what this rifle is pretty much made for and uh, that is hunting um, so definitely get yourself another mag so to load this then while I've got the magazine out obviously load your pellets in and then pretty self-explanatory you know but if you're new to air arms and this is the first air arms video uh, well review that you're watching then uh, I'll show you basically now this is probably a little niggle of mine I don't know I'm I'm not over impressed but this little wedge shaped thing there basically that's what holds the mag in see this if I can get get it close enough to the camera see this little metal thing here this plate it's got like a metal thing well that wedge shape get it right way round goes in there lot it just clips in there how that is going to sort of last over hundreds and hundreds of you know times of use or whatever you want to call it don't know but it looks like fairly easy to replace if needs be anyway but I don't know whether I like that or not don't know but it seems to work it's nice and positive the mags don't sort of want to fall out or anything so pretty cool pretty cool can't really fault it it's me just sort of nitpicking but anyway drop the mag in like that obviously the bolt is all the way back and then you basically just close the bolt up and you're good to go there's no automatic safety on this air rifle and while we're talking about safeties we may as well go straight to the trigger and I'll show you the way this, the manual safety catch is it's actually a cross bolt safety catch on the trigger it's as simple as that that's your safety catch now I'm not a big fan of safety catches on triggers to be honest but it works it works well this one does it you know it do it does do the job I just find it uh, a bit of a pain if you're wearing gloves it might be a little bit fiddly uh, I always say putting a safety catch on the trigger is like putting an emergency stop on top of the go button uh, I don't know why you'd do it but that's just one of my pet hates you know um, you get used to it but I'm a big fan of safety catches you know that you can operate with your thumb or a proper cross bolt safety that is sort of away from the trigger you know incorporated into the trigger guard so while we have got it cocked and it is uh, safe there's nothing in this uh, gun it's in a safe direction let's give that trigger a pull and see what it's pulling out and this is a brand new rifle straight out of the box I've not tampered with the trigger in any way let's just get the trigger puller and we'll uh, see what she's running at okay so let's give this thing a pull then straight out of the box one pound eleven ounces that is a gorgeous trigger straight out of the box without doubt just an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous trigger now the trigger itself the trigger blade is aluminium and it feels nice it's nice and comfortable the only thing I don't like about it is I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it on camera oh you can is that exposed spring that would worry me a little bit you know if you lose that if you knock it somehow you know um, you probably never would but I don't know it just seems a little bit vulnerable to me but the trigger absolutely sweet as a nut trigger guard is all metal as well uh, obviously the trigger is adjustable and there's your access to adjust the trigger but oh, really nice trigger one of the best triggers on the market as far as air rifles are concerned and PCPs now the bolt itself the bolt handle is 
aluminium quite chunky really nice I like that I like the way it's finished as well and then moving along the action you've got a big chunky magazine bar whatever you call it the actual magazine plate stop the mag sort of pushing through the other side of the rifle that's nice and uh, hefty I quite like the look, at it, look of it as well really nice and then you've got this really really sleek slender barrel and then you've got like the muzzle weight stroke it's not really a moderator it does take a little bit of the crack out of it but uh, I'd fit a proper you know design for the job moderator I did take this off to shoot it it is held on with a grub screw uh, just to see the difference it does take a little bit of the crack out of it um, nothing major but you drop a like I said you drop a, a real decent um, moderator on it'll really quieten this thing down now while we're talking about the barrel that'll bring us on to accuracy now I know I'm not the greatest shooter you know I often put these targets on here and people are like oh I can stack pellets at like 60 yards with this gun okay well if you can you can good luck but uh, this is me anyway this is at 30 yards yeah I know crap I don't know what I was doing there it was a little windy then I shot this one and then it gets better but anyway that was with uh, H&N Field tr Target Trophy um, I was happy with those groups in fairly windy conditions at 30 yards not, not making my excuses but I'm happy with that not with that one though but yeah accuracy for a short barrel like that as well really good I didn't really get a chance to reach this thing out and take it to the range and sort of you know reach it out to like 60 70 80 yards you know shooting a, a steel gong or anything uh, didn't get a chance it's a shame really but uh, I expect it would have done the job quite well now once your mag is in and you're all fully loaded you know you return the bolt forward and you are good to go you're ready to shoot squeeze that shot off and it's literally just pull the bolt back gun is in a safe direction each shot obviously rotates that magazine I did find a few times where it wasn't quite cocking I wasn't pulling it back far enough to sort of you know engage the mechanism inside and I did double feed this thing a couple of times you know maybe air arms is it worth putting a, an anti double feed uh, device on this gun maybe but uh, you soon get the feel of it anyway it's just one of them things you know when you've got a, a gun that you're unfamiliar with you will do it it's guaranteed but uh, apart from that you know real smooth action real smooth bolt and loading really nice when it comes to mounting an optic you've got plenty of dovetail rail on this rifle although you haven't got a great deal up this end as you can see but yeah there's enough to you know to mount a decent optic on this thing by the way, this is a really old air arm scope I've got on here, so do ignore this. Mount something a little bit better than what I've got on it. But this is my test scope, it was doing the job alright. And then moving along the rifle to the front end, this is the filler area here. You've got this really overly engineered, nice and chunky aluminium dust cover. And there is your filler bits and pieces there. You're supplied with, grab it for you, 
this thing, which basically won't get it out of the bag, but basically, oh actually I've ripped the bag, let's get it out of the bag then, I've accidentally ripped the bag, but it doesn't matter. This thing here, you basically put it on, get it all lined up, turn it on and then obviously attach all your bits and pieces, I won't really go into it to fill the rifle up, but that's what you're supplied with. I kind of like that, you know, it's a, it's a neat idea, um, obviously you'd have that attached to the bits and pieces you've already got and you more or less just drop this thing on push it on and you're on like that locks on that's a nice feature and it seems quite safe as well and me myself I don't really like messing around with compressed air at the best of times but that I do like really well engineered works well And obviously you're supplied with all the Allen keys and stuff that you need. But I just love these dust covers uh, on the air arms. They are just absolutely solid and chunky. Love that. The gauge on the super light is in the perfect location. Tucked away underneath. Really nice. And it's nice and clear as well. Those of you who watch the channel, you'll know that I absolutely hate seeing gauges at this end of the rifle where you've got to pretty much look down the barrel, see how much air you've got in. Really hate that, but I love to see gauges in a nice clear place, nice safe place where you haven't got to look at the wrong, wrong end of the rifle. So 10 points for that air arms. Now the manual for this rifle is really good, really really good, nice and clear, colour photographs, all your safety do's and don'ts, you know your usual stuff good clear photographs on how to cock the rifle, how to load the magazines, how to adjust the trigger, everything you need to know about the trigger safety, how to fill the rifle, that's what I was showing you earlier, should have just showed you the diagram rather than fumbling around myself, but <laughs> That pretty much shows you, tells you exactly how to do it. Really nice and clear instruction manual and exploded di diagrams as well, the trigger. And then you've got a full rifle explosion there with all the parts listed. Absolutely brilliant, lovely and clear. Great job Air Arms on the manual. So that's your rack and load review then of the Air Arms S410F Carbine Super Light and it is super, super light. Just a perfect little hunting carbine. Really nice rifle and I do love it in this Hunter Green stock. What I will say is, Air Arms if you're listening, throw some sling swivel studs on here will you? Come on, it is a, it is a hunting rifle. They should come as standard, surely. Throw some on there. They probably cost pennies. Anyway, guys, as ever, thanks for watching. That's your Rack and Low review. See ya.